go. Hi, my name is Anne. I was born in South Wales to my Welsh father and English mother. I have one brother who is four years younger than me, but a great deal taller. Our family moved to the Midlands when I was 11. I loved being in the choir in our new church and being part of the bell ringing team. Two teachers from school invited me to join the Crusaders group that they ran, and that was good fun. And it was also good, good training for the Christian life. I went to college in Birmingham thinking that I was definitely a Christian. But when I started attending the college, Christian Union, I discovered that there was a lot more to being a Christian than I had realised. I knew the teaching about Jesus dying for our sins on the cross and was so grateful for that, but I didn't understand what it really meant in ordinary life. There was one young man at college who didn't seem to fit in with the others. One day he and I were chatting and he talked about Jesus in a way I just couldn't. It was as if he knew Jesus. I knew the passage in Matthew 7, 13 about entering through the wide gate or the narrow gate. Although I wanted to walk through the narrow gate and have a closer relationship, with God and Jesus, I was trying to do that while still holding on to all the baggage that I had, including pride in what I knew and in good works and my own attempts at being a good Christian. The choice suddenly became very clear to me. And that evening I went back to my room, knelt down, and told God that I was so very sorry. I put down the bags of hopes and expectations which were getting in the way of actually entering by the narrow gate. And God helped me to start again and to have the relationship he wanted with me. The young man actually left college soon after. Some time later, I came back to visit my parents and received an invitation to attend a Christian meeting in someone's home to hear a visiting preacher. At the end of the meeting, I went forward to pray for a friend who was having a very, friend, a very rough time. And I felt the power of the Holy Spirit for the first time. Peter and I married when we were both 22 and we lived in North London for 10 years. Then we moved to Dunstable with our sons, James and Matthew, then aged seven and four. We had heard of St. Hugh's because of a book written by former vicar Colin Urquhart called Nine O'Clock in the Morning. So while we were searching for somewhere to live in the area, we attended services at St. Hugh's quite regularly. A few years later, the Church Fellowship was encouraged to attend a Christian summer conference called New Wine, and we went as a family for seven years running. It was there that something very wonderful happened to me. In between the birth of James and Matthew, I had a miscarriage. We didn't name the child. He was very, very tiny, but part of me grieved for this little one. At the end of the main meeting one evening, people were called to receive prayer and many people came forward, filling the aisles. Someone prayed for me and soon I found myself on the floor, resting in the Holy Spirit. During this time, I felt that God carried me in his arms and took me on a tour of a big house. He carried me up a staircase and I noticed that the walls were painted in gentle pastel colours and then into a room. It seemed to me that I was in the place where God had taken our unborn child and that he was absolutely safe. We have been worshipping at St Hugh's now for more than 30 years 
and we have seen God move in amazing ways. Through all the ups and downs, he has been a faithful God.